Hello again. In our scope tutorial projects so far, we've only done continuous acquisition. For continuous acquisition, we click the run button to acquire the data and the data continually is acquired and displayed to the main waveform window until we click the stop button to suspend data acquisition. Sometimes, however, we only want to acquire a single set of data. This is especially true if the data isn't periodic. To do this, we'll use something called single sequence acquisition. We get only a single set of data and then hold on to it. We'll use the piezoelectric sensor from our analog parts kit to illustrate single sequence acquisition. Our piezoelectric sensor outputs a voltage difference between its terminals when it's bent. These sensors are often used in vibration measurement. For our test, we'll insert the terminals of our sensor into the breadboard and then connect channel 1 of our oscilloscope to these sensor terminals. Now our oscilloscope will measure the voltage output of the sensor. Since this demonstration doesn't depend on any previous projects, I'll return the oscilloscope to its default settings. This will hopefully help you follow along if you so desire. I'll also deselect the channel 2 display since we're only acquiring data on channel 1. We'll start out by using our old friend continuous acquisition with a long time scale. I'll use a time base of 500 milliseconds per division and set the vertical scale to 2 volts per division with a 0 volt offset. We'll also turn off the trigger by changing the mode to none. Click run to begin continuous acquisition. Every time we flick the sensor we see a response on the measured voltage. Unfortunately, at this time scale we can't tell much about the signal. If we reduce the time base to say 20 milliseconds per division, it's now rather haphazard as to whether we see our signal or not. We can set a trigger to try to fix the problem. Let's use a trigger source of channel 1 with a level of 2 volts and a rising edge condition. This helps, but there's a drawback. The data gets reacquired every time the trigger condition is met. This can be bad if we, for example, accidentally meet the trigger condition by bumping the sensor. If we want to take a snapshot of the waveform which won't get replaced without our permission, we can use the single button to acquire a single set of data. This one also requires us to set a trigger, since the data is acquired based on the trigger condition being met. We've already set an appropriate trigger, so that step's complete. Notice that the status box claims it's armed. This means that the trigger condition is set and the scope is waiting for the condition to be met so that the data acquisition can start. If we now flick the sensor, the condition is met, the data is acquired, and the status is done. Once the entire window of data is acquired, it's displayed and held. The data will remain in the window until another request to acquire data is received. 